All right, welcome. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming today. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Dave DeHart. I'm the Director of Environmental Services for Rutgers University. I'm a Rutgers alumnus. I've proudly worked at Rutgers for over 28 years, and I'm looking forward to this opportunity to talk with you about the Environmental Services Division here at Rutgers University. First, I'm going to introduce you to the team. Then I'll talk a little bit about what we do in the Environmental Services Division. I'll share some sources of pride, discuss where we are and what we're currently working on, and provide some insights into where we're going. So let's get started. I'm blessed to work with employees who share the same desire to make the Environmental Services Division at Rutgers University the best it can be. And make no mistake about it, without the right people in place, with the right attitudes and work ethics, it is very difficult to execute and get things done on a scale such as ours. Here's the team that helps make all of that happen. Ron Lukowitz, Associate Director, New Brunswick, Piscataway. Ron? Ron's got two area managers, William Norville and his team. William? And Bob Smith. Bob couldn't be here, and his team. John Malley, Associate Director, New Brunswick, Piscataway for State and Auxiliary. John? John has three area managers. John Blandowski, John, Tom Cunningham, and Randall Fadon. RBHS North is headed up by James Campoli. His area manager is Matt Strand, and that's his team. Matt, is Matt here? Assistant Director of Newark, Johanna Alcantara, and her area manager, Anna Rivera, and her team. Chris Pepson is the campus manager at RBHS Central. Chris, he makes it all happen, along with Carell Smith and her team. And last but certainly not least, Anthony Baranato from Camden and his two four persons who are also with us here today, Byron Diggs and Patrick Garvey. So what are these employees working so hard on and what exactly is environmental services? While the team is responsible for many operations across our campuses, here are some of the more prominent. Cleaning and floor care, preferably environmentally responsible and sustainable. Special event support, from small meetings to football to graduation. If Rutgers does it, we support it. Round the clock snow removal, and by round the clock, I mean round the clock. When most people are home sleeping in their nice warm beds, our employees are here clearing snow and chopping ice to make sure that the university is ready to open the next day. Waste management, we handle solid waste and recycling as well as year-end reporting. We handle pest control, and believe it or not, we also handle a little fire safety on the New Brunswick Piscataway State and Auxiliary Campus uh, buildings on New Brunswick Piscataway. So where do we do all this? The Environmental Services Universe is 538 buildings and over 17 million gross square feet. We oversee a broad array of functions across vast and varied areas, and we not only execute against the challenge of how grand Rutgers is in size, we pave a path of leadership that places Rutgers at the forefront of our educational institution peers. We are extremely proud of our work, and our many accomplishments attest to our successes. We're a leader in university recycling and have won the annual Recycle Mania competition 11 years in a row. That's number one out of over 700 participating colleges and universities, a slightly better record than our football team. 
In addition to our recycling program leadership, our operational efficiencies have proven to be at the forefront of our peers as well, where we're third in total square footage cleaned per custodian in the Big Ten, though that's not an area that I'd like to lead. I would actually prefer to be down closer to 29,000 where Ohio State is uh, rather than up by 49,000. However, that's a different presentation. And when it comes to budgetary dollars spent to clean our buildings, we rank first in lowest amount of money spent per square foot. Nobody in the Big Ten is better with a buck than we are. Our status within the recycling and custodial arenas is unparalleled. And while the environmental services team takes great pride in our past accomplishments, we know that we have a lot of work to do today. So, where are we and what are we working on today? Our current focus has been to identify everything that we use as a department, determine the best in class products, and then standardize on those products. Why? Because the most efficient, cost effective environmental services operation is one that standardizes the products that it uses. The university literally works with hundreds of products and brands of companies. Imagine the impact we could have if we streamlined all of those. If we were able to do extensive research, conduct an in-depth comparative analysis, and negotiate the lowest prices. What if we could put the safest products in the hands of all of our employees? if we could use the most environmentally responsible products in all of our buildings, if we could establish the highest level of standards and ensure consistency, and what if all of this actually saved money? That's the good news. That's exactly what we did. So where did we start? Like any large environmental services operation, we had many areas to review. Some are large, such as cleaning and floor care, plastic bags, toilet tissue roll towels and hand soap, and large equipment. Others are smaller, like cleaning and mopping systems, small tools, trash systems, classroom supplies, safety items, and winter snow removal. But all of them together are important and comprise the universe of products that we rely on to deliver best-in-class services. Among all these options to start with, we identified cleaning and floor care. Why? Because, as I stated earlier, we are responsible for cleaning 538 buildings and over 17 million gross square feet. Yes, Alice, that is a lot of cleaning. And that kind of cleaning takes a lot of resources. To start, we identified ide industry-leading manufacturers to review. As we began the process, we established the fundamentals for our selection. Is it safe for our custodians to use? What effect does it have on the environment? Is it sustainable? And how does it perform? We created a product matrix to allow for side-by-side -side analysis of every single product. We reviewed the basics, such as container size, number of containers per case, and price per case. But we also reviewed the not-so-basics, such as the containers themselves. Were they sealed? Why would we care about a product's bottle being sealed? because sealed containers help to prevent employees from coming into contact with the highly concentrated product. Therefore, they are considered to be safer. Sealed containers also help to prevent self-mixing, or what I call the glug-glug method of measurement, where a custodian uh, pours in, if they're supposed to pour in two, two ounces, they pour in four, and if four is good, then six is even better. I'll tell you this, if a custodian mistakenly uses only two ounces of a product when they were supposed to use one, 
They've doubled the amount of chemicals with which they can come in contact with. They've doubled the amount of chemicals introduced into the environment. And they've doubled the cost of cleaning whatever it is they're cleaning. And that's only if they use only two ounces. It doesn't matter how many certification logos are on the side of the package. If you're using two, three, four, five times as much as you're supposed to, you're not being efficient and you're certainly not being green. We also reviewed chemical dispensing systems and applicators. Why? Because mixing and applying chemicals through chemical dispensing systems ensures that the products are mixed as recommended by the manufacturer every time. This equals healthy employees, a healthy environment, and a healthy budget. To ensure that the self-mixing chemicals were being dispensed correctly, we analyzed the chemical metering tips of the products. Chemical metering tips determine the dilution ratio at which each product is mixed. If the metering tip hole becomes either enlarged or clogged over time, it will have a direct effect on the product's performance and cost. If the metering tip hole becomes enlarged, you'll be using too much product, which increases the risk to the health and safety of the custodian and the environment and increases your costs. If the metering tip hole becomes slightly clogged, you'll be using too little product, which causes the product's performance to suffer. Some manufacturers offered dispensers that had the chemical metering tips uh, inside the dispenser. Some manufacturers offered the metering tip inside the product bottle. If it's in the product's bottle, you get a new metering tip with each new product bottle. It's a small detail, but one we chose not to overlook. What we reviewed next is perhaps the most important variable when considering cleaning and floor care products, the bio-based content of each manufacturer's products. Cleaning chemicals are manufactured from either petroleum-based material, oil, or bio-based material, plant. Products made from bio-based material are considered more env environmentally responsible because they are made from renewable, sustainable resources. They tend to be more readily biodegradable. They tend to have better health ratings than their petroleum-based counterparts. And they help support the agriculture industry. And while we may have deemed a product to be superior, it was critical that we filtered our own evaluations through those in the industry. So we reviewed the HMIS and NFPA health ratings for each product. Whether the product was a skin, eye, or respiratory irritant, irritant harmful to aquatic life, VOCs, the pH of the product, all for both concentrate and use dilution forms. We also looked at the certification these products had because though Green Seal was the original green product certification, there are many other certifications available today and we looked at them all. Finally, we did a real cost analysis based on dilution ratio for quartz, the number of quartz yielded per case, the dilution ratio for gallons, and the number of gallons yielded per case, which gives you the true cost per quart and the true cost per gallon. How could this impact our decision? Let's see. Here we have two glass cleaners. Product A is four half gallon containers per case, which is $81.88. Product B is two, two and a half gallon containers per case, and is $56.90 per case. At face value, it appeared that product B costs much less than product A. However, when you take into consideration the dilution ratio of the products, which ultimately determines how much product is yielded from the container, the cost of product A is actually half the cost of product B. And after extensive review and testing of products from nine major manufacturers, I am proud to stand before you today to tell you that all of Rutgers 
is now using environmentally responsible, sustainable cleaning products and floor products from Rochester Midland and Ecolab. And that was just cleaning and floor care. Next up was plastic bags. As you can imagine, an institution of this size uses an enormous amount of plastic bags. So we set out to identify the most enviro environmentally responsible solution. We reviewed the size, the mill, the cost, but more importantly, we looked at the percentage of virgin plastic, the percentage of pre-consumer recycled plastic, and the percentage of post-consumer recycled plastic. Which is best? Post-consumer recycled plastic is preferred because it is plastic that has been used, collected, recycled, and manufactured into new products. Unlike pre-consumer plastic, which is the plastic waste that is generated when making plastic items. And finally, we looked at certifications. Ultimately, again, after extensive review and testing, all of Rutgers now uses envir environmentally responsible revolution bags. And this is. Pretty awesome, huh? You know what else is awesome? We're saving $65,000 a year to do it. After cleaning and floor care, cleaning floor care and plastic baths, we still had a lot more to do. Next, we reviewed our smaller groupings, including microfiber cleaning and mopping systems. This includes our microfiber cleaning cloths, our dust and wet mopping systems, and even the detergent to launder them. Our trash systems, which includes all of our receptacles, now we have standards for our public areas, our student and rec centers and high profile buildings, our office suite, and those uh, uh, used at special events as well. Also included in our small groupings were our small tools. Small tools are toilet bowl brushes, uh, brooms, sponges, dust pans, etc. Small tools were followed by classroom supplies because, yes, we make sure that classrooms have chalk and erasers and dry, uh, dry board markers and erasers as well. Next was safety items. Safety items include gloves, eyewear, and eye slip cleats for winter, and bloodborne pathogen cleanup kits. And what environmental services operation would be complete without the environment, meaning the elements and snow removal 
And believe it or not, not every shovel and ice melter are created equal. We've identified the best, and they are now stocked in our warehouse for everyone to use. From cleaning supplies to ice, me ice melter, we left few products unturned. We analyzed, rated, sourced, and procured the best of the best, and then we made it easy for everyone to obtain and use those products by compiling all of this into our environmental services standard products list. The standard product list is a list compiled for our staff. We determine the best product in each category and use it. If another product comes along, it's brought to my attention and it is reviewed and discussed as a team. If a better product comes available, it is tested and if it's agreed upon, it is added to the list and the product that it is replacing is removed. The standard product list displays the product, a picture of the product, a description of the product, any notes, the manufacturer, the product number, if the product is a chemical, there's a link to the actual SD sheet for the product. The part number if the product is stocked in the facility's warehouse. And if you're going to purchase the product outside, there's information for the distributor, a link to the product online, the price, the unit, and contact information for the distributor. We also note any specifications so we don't have to track down the specs for something every time we want to custom order it. So what's next? We have large equipment to streamline, which is currently being worked on by Anna Rivera. Large equipment includes floor scrubbers, carpet extractors, restroom cleaners, floor machines, and vacuums. And to complete the process, we will be reviewing toilet tissue, roll towels, hand soap, and their dispensers in July when their contracts expire, which will complete the circle. As an academic institute that influences and molds generations to come, we believe we have an obligation to strive to be the most environmentally responsible university that we can be. Our consumption and use of products is inevitable, but it is not inevitable that these activities result in health issues for our employees, environmental devastation, or mountains of waste. At Rutgers, we want to be the environmental services operation that all others wish to emulate. I'm looking forward to working with my team toward that goal and help to lead Rutgers to an even more sustainable future. Thank you. Questions? Any questions? No? Okay. <laughs> Nobody has any questions. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, I'm actually scheduled to meet with them. We're going to be the first, you know, when I showed them this list, they were like, wow, you saved us a lot of work. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's, I think that's going to be, I, I love the idea of working through the warehouse for our purchasing. I just finished working. <laughs> I just literally finished reworking our website, and I'll be working with uh, John, uh, John, John and Ghislaine? John and Paul. Paul. Yeah, no, it's literally, it's all done. They just need to look at it and say, give it the thumbs up so we can put it online. But I, I agree, I, that's why I did it. Right, right. No, believe me, it, the the the, web, the new website takes all of the guesswork out of it.
No other questions. Wow. No fishing questions? <laughs> 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 Striped bass. <laughs>